Winner, winner, chicken dinner with only five ingredients. Let's get cooking. Now, when it comes to fajitas, I think often people think it's a little bit complicated, it's more of a weekend feast, but this is a weeknight version that only takes five ingredients. We've got some taco seasoning, some flour tortillas, a little bit of chicken, and some onions and peppers. So really simple ingredients, and it's all gonna go in the one tray into the oven while we crack on warming up some tortillas. So I'm gonna start off by adding our peppers. I've got a combination of yellow and red. That does not mean it's an extra ingredient, they're just a variety of peppers. So I have my peppers in, I'm going in there with some red onions which I've just quartered and a good way to keep these intact is to keep the root in there because that will make sure that it doesn't fall apart and when you roast off red onions like this you're gonna get this gorgeous sweet caramelized flavor which is absolutely spectacular in these very quick weeknight fajitas. So I'm just using some chicken breast fillets and I've cut them into nice chunky strips. To this we're gonna get in there with a little bit of taco seasoning. Now you can use any taco seasoning you like this is pretty much standard in any supermarket you'll be able to pick up a packet of this. Or if you can't find this, something like a Creole seasoning will do the job. You're looking for a bit of spice, you're looking for a bit of a homo heat, and something that's gonna transform these veggies and chicken into something a little bit more interesting after they come out of the oven. To this, we've got a little bit of oil, and you wanna go generous with the oil here because you do want the peppers to kind of get a little bit caramelized, the red onion to reduce down, but also for the chicken to brown up as well. So mix that through, and you want it all completely coated before it goes in the oven. So as you can see, it doesn't take too much work to make this look quite pretty at this point. And now to finish it off, a last little pinch of some sea salt and a little bit of black pepper. Now there's seasoning in there already, but sometimes I just feel like it adds a little bit of something extra. Right, this is good to go into the oven. It's set at 200 degrees Celsius, which is around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna cook for about 30 minutes or so, just until the chicken is cooked all the way through. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. You've got browned off chicken, it's nearly there, there's a little juices going on here, but this is the perfect time to get in there and toss this around, just so that any of those undersides that haven't got as much color or haven't caramelized up, get a chance to evenly cook out. So just shuffle it around the pan, and this is all looking pretty good, it's evenly cooking. I'm actually gonna turn the pan just so that we get a perfectly even cook, but as you can see, very little effort and you have the core elements of your fajita night all set and ready to go. This goes back into the oven and while it's in the oven, we're gonna heat up our tortillas. So nice hot pan here. A little trick with these is just to oil them up a little before they go into the pan. You can use your fingers just to brush it over and then put that straight into the hot pan. So it's literally gonna take about two minutes just to get a nice golden brown color on either side and then we're gonna keep them warm in a tea towel until our fajitas are ready to rock. These little griddle marks are what turn these flour tortillas into something a lot more interesting. You're gonna get smoky notes in there and it just brings them alive. So these are now good to go. I have them nicely warmed, my nice stack. And the thing is, if you're doing this for a weeknight meal, you can have them warm to the table. All you're waiting for is our lovely veggies to come out of the oven and our chicken. And this is where they should be at. Really nice browned chicken and then those beautiful little caramelized pieces of onions. You've got that sweetened pepper. This is your one sheet fajita mix ready to rock. Now at this point, I would recommend you take up those nice warmed tortillas. You fill them with lots of gorgeous peppers and some of those nice little crispy bits of chicken. Now, I know these are fiber ingredient recipes, but I can't help but have a little bit of hot sauce and some sour cream and a little squeeze of lime. You don't have to do this, and you can eat it just like this. It will be a delicious dinner, but if you wanna go the extra mile, a little plop of sour cream over the top, a good squeeze of your hot sauce of choice, and I'm just gonna take up a few little sprigs of coriander over the top. It just finishes it off. Absolutely beautiful, really gorgeous warm ingredients. And the only place for this is in your gob. Oh, so, so delicious.
You've got all that spice from the taco seasoning in there. And remember, that's just one ingredient. That's a store cupboard savior. You've got the chicken that's really nice and tender, those caramelized veggies, and then those warmed tortillas, which are really gorgeous. Well worth warming in the frying pan. Please go and do that if you're gonna make this. It's a super simple recipe. It's all done in the one sheet. The hard work is done in the oven. It's absolutely a winner, winner chicken dinner. And if you want the recipe, you will get it in the box below over on my website as usual, where all the recipe details are there. Hit the subscribe button and make sure you ring the bell for notifications to be sure you know when these beautiful recipe videos land your way. And until then, my friends, leave a comment and I'll see you soon. Yum, yum. Yeah, good. Okay.